recording. Okay. All right. And as I said, these have a lot of words. These are meant to be used more as scripts. And also, you know, you guys feel free to, to jump in with anything that you add to this or different ways that you overcome some of these objections. Um, and some are going to be about, you know, when your people are, have objections about the coach opportunity and others are going to be, you know, for challenges and challenge groups. Um, so, you know, just overall, um, I know you, you guys know this, you've been doing it long enough, but you know, you're going to get objections. People use them as a defense mechanism um, more than anything, especially the people who really need the challenge groups the most because they're just scared that they're not going to get the results. Um, you know, we all get them. It is not something to just say, I just get a million objections. I'm giving up. Um, and, you know, just trying to think of them as a challenge. You know, this person has these objections and how can we help them move past those? So I know we all get the, I don't have the money objection. So for me, the first thing I do is really break down the cost. And so most of the time I'm talking to people about programs that are, Grace, really? Sorry, programs that are on sale. So I talk about the sale bundle, or the challenge pack bundle, or the bundle package, um, and just try to make it sound like as much as possible, right? So you're gonna get the workout program, the meal plan, the portion control containers, um, on demand for 30 days, challenge group, one-on-one -on -one support, and Shakeology. And I always make sure to point out that Shakeology is usually $130, and that you know they're getting this for, for $10. Um, and then I mentioned the discount program because, you know, people seem to like getting a discount and just to throw it out there and kind of have them ask some more questions. Um, you know, doesn't always work, but at least we are showing them all that they're getting instead of just being like, I'm getting a DVD and a bag of Shakeology, you know, because we know it's a lot more than that. Um, and then if they're, you know, the, I don't have the money right now, you know, this is what I want to do, but maybe next month, maybe next month. And so this is where I think it's important to kind of go into your story. So I mentioned that Bonnie put some of these up for herself and she was talking about how she was like, so in debt. You know, I think it's important to be vulnerable. We talk about being vulnerable in our post, but here to be vulnerable as well. And so she got really vulnerable and said, you know, I was really, really in debt. And, you know, these are the things that I cut out. And so for me, you know, David and I were trying to save towards a down payment on another house. Um, you know, I was already a member of a gym and David totally thought it was crazy. Um, he also thought that I was crazy, that I would never like Shakeology either. He thought that was completely ridiculous. Um, but just talking about some of the things, you know, that they can cut out. I know we always say Starbucks and some say, well, I don't go to Starbucks, but okay, well, when you go to a gas station, do you get snacks, do you get energy drinks, you know, really looking at what are any of those extra things that you get? Do you, you go out for frozen yogurt? You know, I mean, that's $4 right there. Um, so, you know, not everyone's going to commit, but using the feel felt found technique, you know, I understand how you feel. I felt that way. Here's what I found is the way that I try to combat the, I don't have the money right now. And then of course, adding them to your follow-up list. Um, worst case scenario. So this is for the, this one is an example um, for coaching. So pe I like to tell people that when I first started, David and I said, all right, like let's, let's try this for three months. And then if like I'm over the shakes and I'm just not like working, cancel it. And so I tell people that, right? If it doesn't work in three months, you cancel it. And the worst thing that happened is I got an awesome workout and I got to try Shakeology and get healthier. So I really didn't lose anything by doing it. If I was already going to be drinking the Shakeology, what did it hurt to try the business? So I use worst case scenario a lot. Um, 30 day money back guarantee. So I haven't used this all that much, but I know a lot of people have great success with this. Um, you know, you have 30 day money back guarantee. Yeah, go ahead. 
Oh, I just, I use it and it's. Does it help? Sometimes it seems to bump them over the, like one girl was like, oh, well then I'm liking what I'm hearing more and more or something. So. Oh, good. So. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I haven't, I just never think to use it, but I think it's a really good one. I mean, why, why not? And normally when people try it for the 30 days, I don't think I've had anyone send back like an empty bag of Shakeology. It's normally people get it and they're like freaking out at the cost and they kind of send it back before they even try it. So there's not much we can do at that point. But, um, and then again, talking about priorities and comparisons, um, I talk about that I was paying these gym fees month after month and I had absolutely no support. And that, you know, I really forgot about those little fees that I was paying because they seemed so little that it ne I never really fully committed. But when I invested the 140 up front, I was like all in. And I think that I've used that a lot that, you know, and again, I use that a lot with Shakeology objections too, that if you're going to do this, be all in and really go for it. And I, I mean, it is a lot, it's a lot of money. And I really do feel like people are more invested when they have more of a financial stake as well. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's why nobody does much in the free group. Like right. I agree. Yeah. Cause it's free. So why? Uh, yeah. They, there's no stake. Yeah. Totally agree. It's like they don't have any skin in the game. Yep. Yep. I am um, the hundred percent thing. Like, one girl was trying to hem haw about it and I was like, no, I really, I give a hundred percent and I wish that you give, you know, I just asked that my challengers give a hundred percent. She was like, oh, you drive a hard bargain, but okay. Like, <laughs> so she bought the Shakeology. She really likes it actually. And she's like one of the ones really participating. This month. Awesome. Yeah. I like that. I asked that my challengers give a hundred percent. I like that. Cause it is, it's yeah, that's, that's giving a hundred percent going all in. Yeah. Um, so I don't have time, you know, I don't get this as much from challengers because I up front say it's 30 minutes a day and you don't even have to leave your house. Um, so I think that, that I don't have time is pretty easy to combat with challengers, but I feel like with the business and coaches, it's harder. So, you know, relate your story. I mean, Raven, you have kids and a whole, and an at-home business and then like two other part-time jobs. And like somehow you are still finding time to like, fit this business in, you know? So for me, you know, instead of watching a favorite TV show and sitting on the couch, I grab my computer while watching the TV or, you know, get up a little earlier, get up a little earlier. You know, people don't really like to hear that. So I'm more trying to tell them, you know, while you're sitting there watching TV or, you know, instead of mindlessly scrolling Pinterest, like use that hour to build your business. Um, yeah, and then it, telling them, again, we have training, you know, and the trainings, how, how to most effectively use a power hour. Um, you know, and I do try to tell them that in the beginning, there is more of a time commitment because you're trying to really learn a lot, and there's a lot to learn out there. But you can take it at your own pace. So when you have time, you know, devote it to watching those million YouTube and training videos. Um, and then once you get it down, you can get that power hour down. So if you have those busy days, like you just do your hour and at least you've done something to move your business forward. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's what I use. And Amanda, have you come across that when talking to people? Cause I know without, I feel like a lot of people come to me and are like, well, you don't have kids. You don't, they, they have a hard time talking to me about it or, you yeah, know, I mean, I get the, you know, because I don't have kids, but then they realize I have a full-time job. Yeah. And it's like, if anybody has ever worked in manufacturing, they understand yes. what working it, you know, like it's, it's not like banker's hours. I right. mean, it's, it's, right. oh, it's all day. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. I bet. Um, but yeah, and I talk about how you can fit it into any type of schedule mm -hmm. so whether you're like if you're doing shift work or um i talk about how you can like still work with your challengers every day by using like hootsuite and stuff like that so Perfect. i don't know i i tend to um compare it to kind of your meal prep like you can do a lot of it in one day and then that'll last you for like a week kind yeah. of thing and then all you have to do is kind of check in with it yeah perfect yeah that's that's perfect yeah i forgot you yeah talking about the scheduling tools is really helpful okay 
uh, so do I have to get the shape? So, you know, we kind of just talked about this, you know, best results. That's the one I tend to use the most. Again, you know, for me, it's the, you know, part of your health and fitness journey is this is, this is the health part. You know, the results aren't going to happen unless you do both. And then I use, you know, that my Shakeology, my challengers was an average of the eight to 10 pounds instead of the three to five without it. That seems to help me. Um, and then Bonnie had this sentence and I thought it was really funny. And she said, and since I can't come to your house and make sure you're eating all your containers, at least I can know once a day you're getting your nutrients. And so I kind of like that. It's true. Like, I don't know what you're going to eat, but like, if you drink your shake, you're getting one really healthy meal a day and you know, that's the best I can do and, and help you with your, your eating. So I kind of liked that. Um, and I don't know how accurate it is, but I also talk about, um, <clears throat> like I've mentioned that with some pregnant women, they've been able to replace their prenatal mm -hmm. vitamin with Shakeology. Yeah. So, I, and I don't know, sometimes I hesitate with that, but it's like for some people that don't understand what, you know, like goji berry is right. and all these different, you know, antioxidants mm -hmm. and all that other kind of stuff. It's like, if I compare it to a vitamin, yeah. I, I never compare it to a protein shake. Right. But if yeah. I compare it to a vitamin, it makes sense to people. Yep. Yeah. I love that. Mm. Definitely. Um, yeah. And then, you know, it's the best deal. So I don't know. Um, this is one that, that Bonnie uses. And she talked about, she said the workouts themselves, the deluxe packages are 119. Shake LNG alone is 130. You know, I would be careful using this because people are smart and they can go online and they can go to Amazon and see that like 21 day fix is like $60, not 120, right? And so there's a big difference in their mind between $60 and like 140 for a challenge pack. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think using the best deal in terms of Shakeology loans 130, you can get all of this for 140 with the challenge pack. It is a good deal. I mean, it is, especially for the first time you try Shakeology. Um, so I definitely throw that in there. Um, I always get people who are like, okay, but what is it gonna cost me the next month to put on it? And so it's like, they know, like, I don't even think ahead that far, but there, tonight a girl was like, and what's it gonna cost me to stay on it after the one month as well, the challenge pack? Yeah, yeah, Already yeah. Done. And when I have people say that, I usually tell them, well, if you sign up now yeah. with the discount option, you know, it'll be a hundred. Okay. Yeah. Or if you want to, I'm like, or it could cost you nothing. Like if you don't want to continue doing it, you know, you can right. cancel. Like there's no reason you have to continue. So she herself was like, oh, that's less than $5 a day. And she was like, I could give you a million reasons right now why I shouldn't do it, but I know that I really need to. Like, that's like, awesome. She, she was like throwing everything at me that I should have been okay <laughs> for. Like she was like giving it back to me. But. That is awesome. Well, that's like this girl I contacted today. I didn't talk to her since May. I literally just like, I, d I don't know who she is. Like we're friends on Facebook. I, I don't know who she is. And so I was like scrolling through and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't written her in forever. And I wrote her and she was like, yeah, my back's feeling much better. And I feel like I'm just ready to get really healthy. And like, she was like, I'm buying in the morning. And I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. I was, I was like, oh, well. I guess, gosh, how many months later? But, um, and then of course people say I'm breastfeeding or pregnant. I never, you know, push it on them. I just tell them, you know, talk to your doctor, but there are tons of coaches who have used it before, during, and after pregnancy and during breastfeeding. I've had challengers who are using it, you know, who've used it before, during, and after, um, as well as the 21 day fix while pregnant and breastfeeding. So, you know, there's ways to do it. Again, it's not a diet. It's just a healthy lifestyle. And so I think people get freaked out. This is like some diet drink or something, but. I always just feel nervous if they haven't been exercising prior because I know their doctor will probably. Yeah. And then they take on heavier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, that's if they totally. were not working out, then I pretty much just leave them alone or I'm like, well, or a lot of them are like, oh, I'd love to, but, you know, so I'll probably need it afterwards. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, if they haven't been doing it, if they haven't been doing any sort of exercise, then, yeah, I, I leave that alone. Yeah, That's like Natasha's doctor, you know, told her she was fine to keep doing it. Right, right. Yeah. She was, 
she just feels so yeah. exhausted and sick right now that she's like, maybe in a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, yeah, after that's this it. trimester <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> exactly like we went out to eat yesterday and she literally was like I'm just gonna have toast so oh like, that's so sad she ordered bacon and ate like she was like I can't eat meat ever oh. so she was like I want to eat healthy but she just like nothing healthy is yeah. nothing appeals to her yeah first trimester is just so hard that yeah just eat whatever you can keep down and then when you get to the so side I her, I'm like order whatever you want I'm not judging you I know <laughs> how it is Exactly. Oh. Um, and then do I have to get the shake for the business? So when people are saying, I just want to work the business and they're trying to pay the thirty nine ninety five and sign up, you know, for me, you know, if you're going to build a successful business, you need to drink the shake, right? You need to be a product to the product. That's a pretty easy one to answer. But you know, if people say I want to try to build a business without it, I'm not going to stop them. I just don't really know how they're going to build a business without being a project and product. So <laughs> good I luck. I mean, if they're not drinking Shakeology, they've got to, they're going to have to promote some other yeah. avenue. Like I've been trying to think of how you could run the business successfully promoting the performance line because you can get all of that through HD. Mm -hmm. So... Well, and you can, you can be an active coach without having HD, anything on HD. You just have to have it. I'm qualified. Yeah. Yeah, you just need HD for Success Club. And so you literally do not have to buy anything as long as you sell 50 PV. So if they're selling products, they don't have to be buying anything. How are you going to sell it if you're – I mean – <laughs> I, I know. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, like, I don't know how, you, don't seem, you don't seem reliable as a source. Or right. You yeah. have no credibility. Yeah. Who Who's going to buy? There's a million beach body coaches out there who's going to buy from like a random person saying, you're like, I don't drink it, but you really should. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. I've heard it's really good for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good luck with your business. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> so I think we've all heard these before too. I wouldn't be a good coach. Cause I'm not at my goal weight. I love this one. But I like hate it too because oh, it's so much better to not be at your goal weight because people relate to you so much more. But oh, there's typos. But um, they're also you know you're still really self conscious and it's really hard to put yourself out there. So it's an easy one for me to answer. Like wow, your life is going to be easier as a coach, but it's harder to mentally convince someone who still has that low self-esteem yeah so, yeah <laughs> I battle with this one a lot and if what it, oh what call were we on was it the bombshell call and they were talking about those limiting thoughts oh, yes. and it's that's one of the limiting thoughts is I'm not skinny enough to be a coach or I'm not strong enough to be a coach or and I don't know. I battle with that too. Like, let's face it. I can barely do five push ups on my toes. Like, how does that make me a good coach? So it's like, I'm trying to use that vulnerability to show people that you can still do this, even if you're not like, you know, yeah. Dara. Crazy fit and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. And, and it is, it is hard. And, who was I? One of the, uh, gosh, and I can't remember her name, but one of the top coaches is a uh, plus size. She, well, she's like top 20. Um, and her, oh my gosh, the difference in her weight is incredible. And she's still like plus size. And she does a lot about modifications. And that's been really interesting. So like, Amanda, I loved when you were like, I'm going to do push-ups for like the full minute. But like, you could also, I think, be like, you know, for those who can't do push-ups, like, what's the best way to modify? And so, like, using those things to, like, show people, like, you don't have to do a full push-up to do this program. Like, this is how I'm doing it without doing full push-ups. This is how much stronger I've gotten. Right. I mean, there's... And that's kind of like, it's funny because I used to, so I would take a picture of me in the full pose. Mm -hmm even though I can't do it for a whole minute and I would like take the picture to make it look like I could really do it. 
And I was like, Amanda, that's not even real. Like, you can't do this. Like, and then I thought, and it was the other day, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to show them 15 seconds of me doing push-ups on my knees. Yeah. Because let's face it, when I do upper body, I'm doing push-ups on my knees. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm finally starting to connect with because some people are afraid to do it because they can't, like my mom didn't want to buy anything because she's like, well, I'm not in good enough shape to do this. And I was like, mom, that's the whole point. Right. Like the whole point of you starting this is that you aren't in shape and it's going to exactly. get you in shape. So it's like, exactly. I don't know. Yeah. But it's hard. It's hard to be that vulnerable, right? Because it is really vulnerable to be like, yeah, I have been working out for a year and yes, I'm still struggling with push-ups. Like, yeah. it's <laughs> hard. <laughs> so I'm still struggling with my full minute as well. When I get to those half push-ups in that last 30 seconds, is, it, oh, that, is that extreme? Whatever. That's extreme. Yeah. So those half push-ups. See me trying to do pull-ups. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I don't think women are one. designed to do pull-ups. It's just, I literally can't do two. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't even do one. I can't even I can, like I one and a half. Sometimes two or three, but in that challenge, oh my god! Yeah, no, that's really? hot. that cha- the upper body one where you just go like push ups, pull ups. That one. Yeah. Yeah. And then like my arms are like jello for four hours. They're like shaking afterwards. Yes. I mean, yes. I actually missed that one last week, but because of the funeral or whatever, so yeah. I'm like not looking forward to it. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I couldn't, I couldn't do pull-ups or push-ups because of my back issues yeah. for the longest time. So I had to do them on my knees or like one knee down or do like two and then go back because I could feel it tightening up like immediately. Yeah. Getting better, but yeah. No, and you did a good job talking about your back too as, you know, mm-hmm. that's good. So. Getting better. And I think it's just, better. it's important to show people that you can work through those yes. kinds of things. Like even if I'm having a flare up, like with my fibromyalgia, I'll still, I still, it's so much better to do something. Mm -hmm. Like, even if it's just, I did 10 minutes of stretching, it's still, it's going to make you feel better in the long run. How did I not know that you had fibromyalgia? I don't know. I don't really talk about it. Well, you should talk about it more because there are a lot of people that do. (laughs) My uncle has it and my aunt has it, but my uncle's like laying in bed in pain for like days at a time. He's like, oh my gosh. That's how my mom used to be. Like she used to, like she couldn't get out of bed. Like literally could not physically stand up. So. Yeah. Anyway, we don't. Talk about that too. (laughs) Gosh, Amanda, you've got a million things to talk about. (laughs) walking platform over there that's right (laughs) (laughs) well all right I'm not a salesperson you know we talk about this on the team um sorry the slide is gonna be typos I will go back and correct that before I post these um you know the last thing we want to feel like are salespeople, which is why we have to be products of the product because all we can do is share our experiences and hope that they help other people so you know that that's really my answer to that and then you know I don't have a big market I'm from a small town. I use myself as an example. I had 400 friends on Facebook. I rarely, you know, it wasn't like a huge Facebook poster. So, you know, we can work together to, you know, to grow your market. And so I really try to tell people, I mean, it is uncomfortable. Again, like I let people know, like growing your market is not always the most comfortable thing in this whole business. It's, you know, none of these things are going to keep you from being a good coach as long as you can feel okay getting outside your comfort zone. If you can't push outside your comfort zone, then it's just not going to work because you just can't sit there with your same group of friends and hope that you like grow a business where, you know, you have thousands of people buying from you. So, um, (laughs) so someone read your message, they wrote back to you and then they didn't answer you after that. (laughs) So I get those all the time. Yes. I'd love to do it. And then like silence. (laughs) So, this first one I thought was really interesting. Interesting. Bonnie uses this. I, I see you read my messages. Yeah, I don't use this. It makes me a little, a little nervous, but why? I don't know. 
you know, yeah, I see you read my messages, haven't responded. You were so excited. I'm so sorry if I made you feel like you couldn't talk to me about your doubts about the program. That is never my intention. I'd love to get you started, but totally understand it's not for everyone. I'd love some feedback if possible. If you could let me know how I could have explained it better or answered questions more clearly, I'd love to know. I talk to people all day long about making this decision, so I'd love to communicate better. Thanks so much. So I guess actually now that I read it out loud, when I was typing it, it seemed kind of pushy, but then when I read it out loud, like, I mean, you're just asking for feedback. And again, the worst they can do is then not answer you, right? So again, they're, all, yeah, again, they're already not answering you. So they can just not answer you again. Or like Bonnie was saying that she's had people come back and be like, oh my gosh, like, sorry, I didn't write back. Like, no, you know, I just had this question or, you know, you did explain it clearly. It's just not the time, but it's another way instead of just being like, hey, following up about the challenge group again to like write something a little different. So I just say, are there any questions that you had that I didn't answer? Do you have any further questions like to follow up? But like, I don't know. I yeah. see my messages and haven't responded. That would make me feel like the person's offended that I haven't responded or pissed off or. Yeah, I know. I know. On the other end. I know. It's a little like, it's very forward, but yeah, on the other hand, like. I see you're ignoring me, so. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I see you being a jerk, so right. <laughs> um, talk about why. Yeah. Um, the referral, I haven't done this much either, but, you know, guess this wasn't for you. No biggie. Wondering since you were all about it, if you had any friends or family who'd be interested. Oh, I don't uh, like how she words these things. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, wondering since you were all about it, but you don't want to do it. Do you have any friends or family who want to do it? Like, because it's hard because you're on Facebook and they're not hearing your tone. Exactly. So they can yeah. interpret that completely yeah. Than you intended for it to be to sound right, and yeah. So I think for me for the referral, I'd be like, "Hey, so and so, you know, looks like you know timing's not going to work for you on this one. Do you know any friends or family who'd be interested? Like, hopefully, I can have you in another group or something like that." Um, See, I did this for my coach. Um, I asked someone about coaching recently or something, and I was like, "Well, if you're not into it, do you have any?" Uh, maybe I did ask for referrals for the group as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. I need to do more of that because. Well, I think I watched a bunch of yeah. posts or something. Yeah. I've, I, everything you're saying, I've seen a lot of this. Like, I remember this yeah. from another Bonnie video. Yeah. And then the, the, um, I mean, the top coaches all ask for referrals. So, yeah, yeah they're obviously top coaches for a reason. They didn't, they didn't respond, though. So, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's all right. Um, and then, yeah, asking for follow up. We all do this, you know, love to follow up with you next month to see if, you know, things are better for you. So th those are all things that, that we, we do anyway. I just, I'm sorry. I, that's just, I, I can't stay away from the Starbucks. No, guessing you never found the time to click the link. It just sounds so rude to me. <laughs> I try to be so not pushy and rude. Yeah. And you know, it's all in like, I mean, stay away from the Starbucks. Like, this is definitely, like, you know, how this is her, her wording, and... I'm guessing you never found the time to click the link, and this is just my Yeah. I don't know. I could never. <laughs> I couldn't say it. Yeah. But I would know I could use it and, and reword it. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and all of these, yeah, I mean, it's a general idea. But, but this, I mean, hello, she has 20 success sub plus points a month sometimes, so... Oh, she has way more than that. She has close to 50 success club points a month. Okay. I mean, maybe this is working, just being pushy. Yeah, like, oh, I mean, okay. she's the number five coach in the entire company, and she's recruiting 25 to 30 coaches every month. She's insane. She's now... Yeah, I she's, remember seeing that in the video. She's 15 star qualifying right now. That yeah. is That's insane. insane. Yeah, she's insane. So, like... You know, say what we want about like she, she, but she I'm just gonna I'm just gonna copy and post this into like one of my next things and just see what happens. Like she's <laughs> okay. don't forget, stay away from McDonald's. I don't have the balls for this. And you know, and I mean you know, me neither, but I'm just gonna do somebody I don't know anyway. Like I'm like, oh well, I just added them and didn't know them. Let's see what happens. And you know, maybe it's you know, this is her voice, and so her other messages before it probably all right. go with it. And so if it came out of nowhere from us, it would be odd. Right. That's true. Yeah. Um, business, you know, people committed and then didn't answer. Um, so, you know, 
relate to their why I think is the big one in here. Like I was inspired that you wanted to build your business for your kids, you know, just talking bringing their why back to the forefront instead of just being like, Hey, still want to sign up? Help me with my goal. I, you know, again, this must work for her. So I'm putting it on here. Um, you know, I definitely go with the why, like, you know, we're going to get you home with your kids, blah, blah, blah. But help me with my goal. She said, you know, I know you're super busy. I um, want to get you in the group working. I am working towards a huge major goal with my team. And you would really help me with that. Let me know if you're be ready to be part of this. I think you do like helping people. Yeah. And so maybe, you know, this makes to me. So I read it as selfish. And again, this is like my own insecurities. But I, I think you're right. I think people like helping people and they like knowing that they're part of a bigger team and like a bigger mission. And so I may have to try this one and just get over my insecurities. <laughs> I mean, it, I feel insecure about it too. I just, I mean, I know that people like helping people, but I also, in my mind, I would be like, like, I don't like when people are pushy about like, hey, help me reach my 31 goal. And I'm like, no, I don't reach it yourself. Yeah. Like, right. I want to buy anything 31 related just to help you reach a goal. Yeah, exactly. I feel the same way, but I guess, there, yeah, but there's other people who don't and this works for them. So that is another way to, yeah, try to get people to, to commit and to commit more quickly. Um, you know, we've talked about these. I don't understand social media. I don't want to post on Facebook. You know, that's hard. So I didn't want to post to Facebook either. Um, but when I figured out Facebook isn't for me and my family and my friends anymore, Facebook is to run my business. And so that was just a mind shift. And so I talk about that. And if you want your Facebook page to be, you know, just for your family and you're going to keep it private, you know, it's going to make your business harder to run. You can try Instagram. You can try some other forms of social media, but Facebook's the easiest place to start. Um, and again, that's just getting outside of your comfort zone. What will my friends think? Same thing. Who really are your friends going to like make you money? Are they going to like get you your dream job? Um, and are they really your friends if they're like judging a Facebook post? Like, you know, I, this is more in your head than it's going to be with your friends. You're going to have a couple friends that it annoys and they're just going to stop following you and your life is not going to change because your friends don't follow you anymore. Um, well, and, I was nervous my brother-in-law would say something. He never said anything to me. Really? Yeah, not, not yet. Um, that doesn't mean it's not coming. But. Yeah, yeah I, I, I've had family talk behind my back. and but I heard about that recently. Melissa was telling me about Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've had family say, say some not nice stuff. Um, and, like, my grandmother's birthday party and stuff. I was a topic of conversation. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, like, right when I started. And now they're all, like, super supportive. And literally the ones talking about me are doing the 21-day fix. Like, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It's just ridiculous. But again, yeah, I was like, you know what? Like, let them talk because it doesn't affect my life. I'm so sad that like they have so little to talk about. They just have to judge a Facebook post. Like it's. Oh, well, and that just shows. I yeah. think everyone's insecurities or jealousies or. And it, it is, and it's definitely. It was definitely like insecurities about their own weight. So yeah, and you know, social media. I mean, it is the future, or it's like not even the future, it's like now. I mean, <laughs> it's how everyone gets all their reviews for everything. You know, I mean, we all use Yelp and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, if you don't get social media, you know, we'll help you figure it out. We can help train you, but like, you've got to use social media. So, uh, you know, and then there's just the random, this is another excuse that I get, you know, that I already drink another protein shake. Um, you know, Shakeology isn't a protein shake. We've already talked about this. You know, it's a, it's our superfood shake. Um, I get a lot of times like, well, I drink the fifteen dollars shake from Walmart. Well, a lot of times I'm like, you know, they have some really bad like bonding agents in them. They're known to cause disease. You, know, you definitely get what you pay for. So it's really important to like look at the ingredients. Um, and again, these are not protein shakes. I so. always say like, I'm like. It was made in a quality control, whatever, in America, not China, you know, that kind of thing. China. Yeah, that's good. That's I good. I think this is another area where consistency is key, though, because I had 
a friend that was drinking other, well, it's, well, Andrea, hi, Andrea, if she listens to this, but she used to drink other shakes. And then it was like, one day she was like, all right, be real with me. Do they really taste good? Is it really going to do me any good? Yeah. And it's like, I think I was then able to be honest with her and just say like, hey, here's the deal with them. Yeah. Here's what it's like. And now she's one of my business builders. So yes. I just feel like just keep, you do you. Yeah. Just keep mm -hmm. doing you. And if they want to, you know, eventually they might come around and then they might not. I mean, they might want to keep drinking the shake they're drinking. Yep. Yeah. Um, what I always get well, a couple of times, like, why is Shakeology better than Advocare? Why is Shakeology better than, like, the top, the vi body by vi? Those are a little harder to respond to. Like, I always go online and start looking for the comparisons, and I really push that, like, it's the superfoods, it's the nutrients, it's, you yeah. know, what, it's not necessarily going to be in the protein amount, or it's not going to be, yeah, maybe we have a little bit more sugar, but, like, it doesn't compare this way. Right. But yeah. There's some charts. Uh, yeah that I try to use. And yeah, and those are, those are harder because they are more quality shapes. Um, I try to talk about how it fits in the 21 day fixed meal plan really well and how I can't guarantee that those other shakes fit in that meal plan. Like, you know, I don't know that that shakes a red container. And so again, just talking about how it is the entire program and not just a shake. To work together. Yeah. Exactly. That's how, because that is, that is harder. It is harder. I don't know enough about those shakes. And I know. I'm like, well, just off the top of my head, let me do a quick. Yeah. And I've also seen Dara say to people, I don't know anything about blah, blah, blah shake, but what I do know about Shakeology is this. Yeah. And then, and that way she's like, I'm not trying to compete. I'm not going to say anything bad about any of these other products. Like, I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to go there, but I am going to tell them what's great about ours. And she was like, if they want to compare, they can. So that's also another interesting approach that yeah. gets me out of that. So, um, oh, and then the grass pants calls straws excuses for coaches. Um, you know, I'll have to ask my husband. Yeah. Um, you know, for me, I just talk about when I talked to David, um, you know, we agreed on the three month time limit. Uh, he wanted to give me the time to do it, but like also didn't want me to be working a million jobs. Um, you know, he said if it didn't work, cancel free of charge. Um, and then I would say like, let me know if your husband wants to chat with my husband. Has anybody ever been like, yes, let me call David up? No, no. <laughs> of course not. Put David on the spot. Like, here you go, David. Somebody called the doctor. Yeah, David like doesn't even know I say this. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I hope nobody ever like takes you up on that offer. Right, exactly. Hold on, let me get my husband who's like in California or France now. He doesn't actually, he's actually never here. So if you want to talk to him, we're going to have to, to wait. Let's chat with my husband. I'll have him call next Monday. When yeah, exactly. Let me put you on his calendar. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm an introvert. I get that all the time. I'm totally an introvert. Six of the top 10 coaches right now consider themselves introvert. Um, you know, interactions all over. People know what introvert means. It just means you need to like regroup right. having alone time. It doesn't mean you're like not a people person. Exactly. People yeah. don't know what that means. No, no. And it's just an excuse. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, it's totally, it's totally an excuse. So, and all of these things end up being excuses, you know, um, the fifteen ninety five per month. Why do I have to pay, pay, pay this? Um, you know, and I just talk about shipping and handling, customer service, phone lines, like, they do it all. We don't worry about any of that. And that's what that 1595 goes for. Plus, you know, you're saving more than that on your Shakeology every month. So most, I, I don't get that one very, I've had that one like once before. Like, why am I paying this? Most people like understand why you pay it. So, um, you know, just as you're posting, uh, try to, posting just in general on Facebook, you know, reinforce some of these common kind of misconceptions and objections. Um, you know, we do a good job of that when we're posting about Shakeology and what it does for us, you know, but people sometimes don't ask the questions 
and they're just waiting for us to kind of answer them before they contact us. So, you know, that's one thing that Bonnie does. She takes objection, objections and turns them into posts. So I'm trying to do, to do more of that. Um, and of course, we're all getting the, I am waiting until after New Year's. You know, that's the, I don't want to spend any money before the holidays, money before the holidays because of Christmas gifts and stuff. Yeah. And I really have no response to that because I understand that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. And that's when you just, that's when you're planting the seed. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. those are the ones that you just have to accept that they're not going to buy it right now, but they'll be back. They're still back. Yeah. 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 And for those, yeah, there's not, there's not much you can do. Um, you know, for my, the group starting on November 30th and people have been like, well, I don't know if I'm ready to start before Christmas. That's when I just really, you know, talk about, well, like, you know, th I, I keep saying this group is going to be a lot of fun because it's, yeah, I was like, it's gonna be a lot of fun because it's in between the holidays. And so like, we're not focusing on weight loss. Like we're really just focusing on like, how do we sustain our current weight and not gain weight over the holidays? You know, like one girl that again was talking to me at night, she was like, Oh good. So it's in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm like, you should be a coach. Like she's picking up everything that I'm not even yeah. saying. I was just That's like, awesome. I played it that way on purpose. Yeah. Maybe she will be a coach. That would be maybe. great. I was going to say, maybe she should be a coach. <laughs> everything I, sh she just like picked up on it. That was Yeah. Funny. Yeah. She sounds like a good coach. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, and I'm also, you know, I haven't, business building coaches, I haven't had as many contacts in the last couple of weeks, and I've been really trying to put out the feelers with the New Year's is a huge season. Like, you want to be trained and ready to go so you can, like, maximize your business. Um, so, I've been trying I to put that. I don't lie. The coaching thing is hard for me because I'm not making that much money, and I feel like, like, if I'm like, oh, you can make money before Christmas. Probably you won't though. I mean, you might make like a hundred dollars, but then you got to pay for your Shakeology. Like, I don't know. Unless people really sell like twenty right challenge packs, and it's hard their first month to do that. So when you tell Melissa or whoever, like, yeah, that's really good to push that, and I'm like, I can't push that. Like, in yeah. good fit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, and I would. I've been telling people um, who are interested in joining and like kind of talking about coaching, like sign up and in December, let's just get your Shakeology and Challenge Pack covered. Right. So like that, that's what I've been saying is like in that first month, we'll have it. So you kind of, you break even, you're not paying your $15.95. You're not paying for your Shakeology and Challenge Pack. You're building that base. You're building the trust with your customers. And then in January, you know, hopefully we can help you like start making more money because it does, it does take time. Yeah. So yeah, as we know, <laughs> um, so that's, yeah, that's it. Um, you know, and we've, we've heard these before, but I think it's good to have some of them written down and we can use them and I can stop sharing now, not stop sharing. Well, I can stop sharing as well and stop.